We got so much to thank the Lord for. My God. Every time I, I, I get up in the morning, I get up thanking and praising the Lord. Oh, for the things I've seen, the things I've heard. My God. Listen, sometimes you can't even restrain yourself. When you see the glory and the mercy, the grace of God, my God, that he see fit to bless us in the ways he's been blessing us. Amen? I, I just want to give you a testimony. I got to give you a testimony. Amen? Hallelujah. It wasn't for me. The reason I'm in Harvest Army Church is because of prophecy. I came in not knowing anything about prophecy. And I sat one New Year's Eve. Hallelujah. And here the man of God was preaching. And in the middle of the preaching, he stopped. And he said, mm, 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 mm. It's terrible. Terrible. Buildings tearing down. People running in the street. It wasn't even 10 days later, there was a big Haitian earthquake. And the same thing that was prophesied was the same thing that was manifested during that earthquake. Don't you tell me that there is not a God. Don't you tell me that what the Bible says, I will do nothing lest I reveal it unto my servant, the prophets. You're in the right place. I'm telling you, you're in the right place because God wants to speak to us and he's going to do it through a prophet. You don't need a preacher. Hallelujah. You don't need a preacher. There's many preachers all around. But if a preacher can't tell you of things to come before they come so that you will know. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. You may take your seat. I'll ask the choristers to come. In the meantime, I just want to give God praise. For my spiritual father, I'm telling you, he's my, I take ownership, he's my spiritual father because everything I've learned spiritually has been under him. Amen? Hey! Hey! I said, I woke up this morning with my mind, laid on Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My God, my God, my God. Where would we be without the Lord? My God. I don't know about you, but I know I couldn't make it without the Lord. Amen? God is a good God. Hallelujah. You know, anytime I preach, I convince myself that I must start with this. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scriptures. See, because if we don't get this in our spirit, the battle is lost. Amen? Amen. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and instruction in righteousness. Because, you know, the world that we're living in today will come to tell us that it's, it's, it's a story. You know, all kinds of things to take away from the impact and the importance of the word of God. Amen? But we've got to have it settled in our mind that it is given through the inspiration of God. Amen? Amen. 
Hallelujah. Before I get into my subject, there's two lies, two major lies that we as Christians have to always keep in mind. One, they tell us there's a separation between the government huh, and the church. Lie. Amen? If it was so, why would they be passing laws to restrict our activities in the church? The only thing separating the church from the law, but not the law from the church. Are you hearing me? All right. The next big lie is to tell you there's a difference between evolution and creation. That's another lie. The Bible tells us that he's the alpha, he's the omega, he's the beginning, and he is the end. Yes, is. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. I liken it to say when we're doing divisions, amen, we have a numerator and we have a denominator. And the denominator is exactly what it says, the dominating force. Amen? Amen. 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 The numerator, hallelujah, is just part of. Amen? Amen? So if you do division and you try to take the numerator and divide it into the denominator, you're going to come up with what? Whole numbers, right? But if you try to do it the other way, which the world is trying to tell us to do, amen, to take the denominator and, and, put the, the put, and, and to put the, the numerator into the denominator. If you put the numerator into the denominator, you get whole numbers. The world is telling us to do it the other way. But when you do it, it comes up as fractions. Amen? So the, but listen, that is telling us that God is the dominating poor power on the earth. The denominator has the ability... To correct all things because everything that's in the numerator came out of the denominator. Amen. Everything that's in the numerator, that's us. We come out of God. Amen. That's why we don't know the mind of God. Hallelujah. And he tells us this. Listen, he would tell us he got so much to tell us. But we couldn't bear it. Your mind couldn't handle it. Amen? Amen? Give God up some praise. Amen? Amen? Paul says in Revelation 1 and 11, Hallelujah, speaking of God, He is the Alpha, He's the Omega, He's the first, and He's the last. Amen? Amen. So, would you just turn your Bibles with me to Revelation 1? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to set some stuff straight today because the enemy is trying to attack our minds to make us believe that God has abandoned us when he hasn't. Amen? Amen. Give God some praise. praise, the Lord. praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, I heard a, a li- I was looking at a little kid did an advertisement and he's, he's no more than about maybe six months old. And he had some glasses on. And he says, um, the, the caption over him goes, my mommy, I don't care what my mommy says. This book says that my grandma is supposed to spoil me. Ha, it's settled. He don't want to hear nothing. He, you can't tell him anything. He says, my grandma is supposed to spoil me. It's written in this book. When the Christians come up on certain things, we have to go back to the book. It is written in this book. God has said it. There is no equivocating. It shall come to pass. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. And we start at verse 11 saying, I'm the Alpha. I'm the Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write it in a book. And send it on to the seven churches. Amen. Are the churches preaching this today? The churches are closed. Amen. But you write it in the book for them. He said, and I turned to see the voice that spake to me. That's 12. 
and be in, and be in turn, I saw seven golden can, seven co golden candlestick, and in the midst of the seven candlestick, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed in garment, down to the foot, and girded about the pops with a golden girdle. His head and his ears wore like lamb's wood. This is a vision of God. Eh? As, as white as snow, and his eyes wore a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as they were burned in a furnace, and his voice as the song of many waters. Amen. Did you hear what it just said? He says his feet, oh my God, were like on to fine brass as they were burned in a furnace. So what is telling me that the brass was tried by fire? And it, it's, it's akin to God. Amen? Amen? All right. We serve the God of fire. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Do you remember the three Hebrew boys? All right. Give God some praise. Let's turn to the book of Daniel. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see what, let, let, what see Daniel had to say about this God and fire. Do you remember that? Anybody remember that story? Mm. And the thing about it is that when he saw him, Nebuchadnezzar, he, had to he told them to turn the fire up seven times. Heat it up. Amen. Amen. Because he was so angry with the rebellious nature that he thought. Amen. Amen. Of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen? Amen. The problem is, when Nebuchadnezzar looked in the fire, he said, I give you three men. I told you to put three of them in there. But when I look, I see a fourth. I'm talking about the God of the fire. Are you hearing me? I'm talking about the God of the fire. Amen. He said, when I look, I see a fault man. And that man looked like the son of God. What God is telling us. The same fire that the son of God that saw Back in Revelation, the Son of Man is the same God they saw in the fire with the Hebrew boys. Yes. Now I want to tell you, the enemy is planning to turn up the flame on us. The enemy is planning to turn up the flame. Do you know why the prophecy came forth? Huh? Revival City? Uh, my God. <laughs> We're going to need a refuge. We're going to need a hiding place. We're going to need a, a shelter from the things that's coming. And God is preparing that. Make no mistake about it. Because when he, listen, when they put them in the fire, hallelujah, and it was seven times hotter, my God, right in the middle of the fire, in the middle of the flame, my God, there was safety. Amen. Hallelujah. Here, my bishop said there's going to be war. Ha, in the streets. Oh, yeah. And I'm telling you, it's coming. <laughs> Listen, the UN is getting ready for us. If this election thing, I'm telling you, go the wrong way, you're going to have house to house combat coming to search for you. But you remember, Lot. Remember Lot. Hallelujah. When they wanted to get the angels. Hallelujah. 
and they grope it, send them out. And the angels right there, they couldn't see them. God blinded them that they couldn't see. When we stay in Christ, it's the same thing that God's going to do for you and me. We're going to be saying certain things, and they're going to be looking for us, and they can't find us because we're in the fiery furnace, and God is there. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, there's a circle of fire on you, but they can't come in because remember what happened to the soldiers who went and put the, the three Hebrew boys into the fire who got burned up. Who got burned up? Those who put them in. And so I want to let them know, as they're planning for the Christians, you better be planning for yourself. I heard an old thing. When you dig a grave for one a man, you better dig two. You're going in the fire. And you will be no more. I'm here to tell you today. It's time for us to fight fire. With fire. I said it's time to fight fire with fire. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard, oh God, Jesus. One of the apostles last night just saying, yeah, we just think we can clap and sing in time of war. Sometimes, no, 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 no. No time for singing. There's no time for singing. It's some time for warrior activity. You hear what I'm talking? Some fasting, some praying, some rebuking, hallelujah, of the enemy. Hallelujah. Understanding the time in which we live in. The time in which we live in calls for a whole different response. Come on. And we got to make up our mind to fight for our children. Fight for our marriage. Fight for our home. Fight for our community. Fight, fight, fight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He did not give us a spirit of fear. That's what they want to do to us. Every time you turn on the television, oh, this and that. Look at this. The Supreme Court was, listen, I thought the Supreme Court was safe. Uh, come on now. Then they built a big hall around. Huh? They took it down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They put a big wall because they wanted to be protected for the evil that's going on in there. Hallelujah. I call it the witch's den. The council of the dragon and the grand dragons. You hear what I'm telling you? Amen. I don't care. Listen, this word that I'm telling you tonight, I know they're listening. It doesn't matter anymore. Hallelujah. Because if a man have nothing to die for, he got nothing to live for. I don't want to live no more. If you're going to capture me, if you're going to decapitate me, if you're going to demasculate me, hallelujah, I don't want to live no more. I got to be a man because that's what God said. He didn't make me a woman. He made me a man. I'm going to stand and I'm going to fight to the end. And you're not going to shut my mouth. I got to see it. Your wicked plan will not stand. Give God some praise. It's time to fight fire with fire. They think they're making fire. Ha, Nebuchadnezzar thought he was making fire. Ha, he playing fire. Ha, ha, ha. But when the fire maker, the real thing came. Listen, listen. Oh, Jesus. Everything they bring to us, I want to let you know, is an imitation. Don't bow to the beast. He's an imitator. Don't bow to the beast. He's imitating God. Because he wants to be like God. Read your Bible. He wants to be like God. So everything... Everything he comes to tell us about it is an imitation. And you got to look, listen, I, had a, I heard a little story. Hallelujah. I, this, yeah, I learned a, little, a lot of stuff from my grandmother. Amen. <laughs> Yay! The devil is a liar. Get your children around the grandparents. Get them around the grandparents. Why you think the world is so sick? <laughs> The world is sick and I know why. I'm going to tell you right now. They broke down the family. You want a psychologist? 
You got a good loving family? Your psychiatrist is a dear. You need a social worker? You can't pay the bill? You, listen, your financier isn't there. Because when I got, you got. What is this nonsense? We don't need orphanage. Hallelujah. When we got family. Because that's my brother's child. That's my sister's child. When we eat, you eat. When we sleep, you sleep. Because all together, all for one and one for all. That's Bible. Let me tell you that right now. Hallelujah. Stop the devil from stealing your riches. Stop the devil from stealing your inheritance. Stop the devil and he's putting it in offices. He's giving it to all kind of counselors. All these people walking around out of their minds. I look at them and say fainted. They fainted. The enemy attacked them and they fainted. Have mercy. Pray for them. For they don't know. Hallelujah. The enemy attacked them and they don't know. Fainted. Why? Hallelujah. You see, when God gave us ten commandments, I shall. Listen to me. If you got the ten commandments, we are all Christians. We're living in a community. And we are honoring the ten commandments. Do you need the police? Do you need the police? Isn't God the best, the best FBI? Come on. CIA? Huh? Come on now. Talk to me. They're imitation of God. The only reason you need that because man has drawn himself out of the promises of God, out of the will of God, out of the commandments of God. So now you need a compensation. Yeah. Broken man. Broken. Broken. They're on the ground, laying on the ground, crawling around. Hallelujah. Because they don't know that they got a God. They're crawling around in the mud. Did God not shape you out of the mud? Did he not take you and make you out of my, the miry clay and set you up and stood you forward? That's why the cross got to come. Hallelujah. The cross come because the cross is a compensation, a compensatory mechanism for you who are broken. The cross will make you listen when you're on the ground. And he says, thou shalt love thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. You're getting up there. Hallelujah. 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 Every one of those commandments, you'll get another vertebrate. And you crawl. You see the cross. You see the cross. The cross is a compensatory mechanism for broken men. Amen. Hallelujah. And every one of them put your back where it needs to be. And now you become as bold as a lion. No weapon formed against me. I can do all things through Christ and strengthen me. Hallelujah. You got to know this God that we serve. This God that we serve. Hallelujah. Is our compensatory mechanism. He know we will be broken. He know we will be attacked. But he sent his word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Now, I want to talk to you about soup. Hallelujah. Every time I look, Satan cooking some stuff. Yeah, I call it alphabet soup. <laughs> yes. I say alphabet soup. <laughs> oh, God. L, B, G, Q, T, Y, X, B, Z. Hey. That's alphabet soup. Hallelujah, and it's not there to make you whole. Ah, come on, come on. You better understand that soup. Listen, when they start feeding you that soup and you drink it, it's to make you broken. Because God created wholeness. Amen. When the American Psychology, uh, Psychological Association called that thing yesteryear a disease, and they forced them in the courts to change the policy. And said, not a disease. Liar! You know it's sickness. 
How wicked of you to let those people be broken and leave them there and not try to fix them. Take them to the cross. Take them to Jesus. He can make them whole again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Are you praising the Lord? Are you praising the Lord? Like I said, we got so much to thank the Lord for. The next soup they cook for us, they talk about the generation. You know what? The baby boomers, generation, generation X and Y and Z and A, huh? That's a recipe to get rid of God. Are you hearing me? That's a recipe to get rid of God. Because as the generation progress, then they just had all in the paper you saw it. Then sometimes they tell on themselves, you got to listen. They say the millennials, hallelujah, are less spiritual than the generations before. And when you go and you read the doctrine, you see as they come down, that when they get to generation A, hallelujah, hallelujah. 2012 to 2025, they're not going to know. That's why God need you and you and you and me. My God, David Wilk. I, I know I heard that right in half a sermon. I, I hold on to it and I still hold on to it. The true Jesus movement. You, listen, saints. Are you hearing me tonight? You didn't call yourself here. None of you call yourself here. God ordained that you be here. That you be a part of the movement. It started in New York. Hallelujah. And we start the, 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 the trail. Oh yeah, but Shanda, coming on down. Coming on down. Listen, this is a, listen, this is a hope train. When people are getting themselves all tied up and despondent, we got the hope train. Get on board, get on board, get on board. Get on board. Hallelujah. As we're chugging along, come to Jesus. Come into the safety zone. Jesus save. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're picking up speed as we get where we're going. Hallelujah. Because we're going to a city. We're going to a city. Oh, glory to God. God, listen, God don't make mistake. Don't let the enemy play no tricks on your mind. God has got a plan and a purpose. Hallelujah. He says in Jeremiah 20, oh, come on. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I have a plan. Ooh. God got a plan for you. God got a plan for that little baby right there. Hallelujah. Mom, you got the baby in the right place. Because he may not understand or may not understand what's going on right now. But the seeds are being planted. Because I'm here to tell you, I am one of those babies. I didn't want to know. My mother, I don't know, she think I had some demon, I guess. She sent me to church from morning to night. I'm not kidding you. On Sunday, I think she was trying to get rid of me. I was a handful. Hallelujah. In the morning, 6 o'clock, I go to the Catholic church. Hallelujah. At 9 o'clock, I go to the Anglican church for Bible study. But I want to let you have the money they gave me. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I go to that. Then we had high mass. After that, in the Anglican church. Then I'm finished. And I come home. She give me something to eat. I got to go to the, to the uh, uh, AME church. Hallelujah. And after that's finished, the seven days Adventists had something in the, in the afternoon. Hallelujah. I had to be there. And then I go home and I have my supper. And seven o'clock, seven o'clock, ring a bell. Hallelujah. I had to go to what they used to call the Holy Holy Church. Hey! Don't you tell me, oh God, don't have a sense of humor. And I would go there as a child. I couldn't understand people in the spirit. What's she doing? Rolling on the ground. <laughs> oh, God. 
What is that? What is that? Screaming. I remember I'm going to all these churches. People are quiet. And I come to this one and the people screaming and rolling on the ground. Ah, Shabbat. But the fire of God was burning, burning in their soul. I don't understand it. What the listen? Oh, Jesus. John the Baptist says, I baptize you with water. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he who comes after me, glory to God, hey, Shabbat, he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Fire, 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 oh, fire, glory to God, fire, 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 fire. Hey, I want to let you know, there's a, there's a study right now. Glory to God, not, not Western University. They're inquir inquiring minds. They want to know. They want to be God. And they want to study, oh God, fertility, to understand when, when does life begin. I could have saved them all that money that they spend on all these programs. When does life begin? When does life begin? Hallelujah. So they look in the microscope. Don't take my word for it. Go examine it. You know, when I tell you I got done, check it out already. Amen? They say when the sperm... Hits the egg. There's a fire. <laughs> don't tell me God don't show up. God is right there. That's what I mean. When the egg comes with the sperm, God says fire. 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 You see, they, 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 listen, fire isn't just fire. No. There's such a fire. <laughs> you know, I, I had, a, I had a, a comedian years ago say, sometimes the little girls don't understand the power they have. Ah, Shabbat, Baba. Oh, Lord, girls, ladies, so beautiful. Lord God. Oh, see, oh, that's why Adam went crazy, because you're all so beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. Don't squander your wealth. Don't squander your riches. You know that she was saying that the little girls, she see them say, I said I went to see, see, see. Yeah. see, see. She saying about that. She said, it's not about that. Huh? Yeah, I went. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. She said, what you got is the stuff that make man kill and want to be killed. Hasha! Listen, you got to call. Listen. You got to understand why God put you where he put you is to learn. The mothers of the church, they can tell you, if, listen, there's no divorce. Huh. In this church, you heard of Bishop, hallelujah, hallelujah, and his wife just celebrated 38 years of marriage. You got the right food. You got the right diet. Don't listen. Don't, don't listen. God giving you. He's prepared a table for you. Come. Dine. And feed that spiritual thing that God has put in you. He said, I have put treasures in earthen vessels. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. He says you're wonderfully made. Don't let no devil run up on you and tell you that you that you 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 half or quarter. No, I'm whole. I went to the denominator. Hallelujah. And though I might have been broken, I've been smoking my cigarette. I've been doing my crack. I've been um, all my kinds of stuff. But when I went into Jesus. Ah, Shabba. Oh, he made me whole. And when they run upon you and they tell you, 
Well, I know you used to be an addict. I know you used to be a thief. I know you used to be a murderer. Listen, Paul was a murderer. Hallelujah. But he wasn't so much of a murderer that God couldn't use him. He can use you. He can use me. He can use all of us. And he has chosen us because sometimes our brokenness teach us to appreciate God. Are you hearing me? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. That thing is saying time up. Oh, Lord. I keep telling you all the time. That clap may say time up. But God, in my God, when I find Jesus, my time just begin. In the name of Jesus. And oh, I got it for eternity. Oh, I got it for eternity. It shall never, ever, ever end. My God. Hey, listen, I keep telling people, the most important thing in life is time. Why? Time brings you into the world. Time keeps you in the world. And time takes you out. That's your journey. So it's important. What you do in between, in between the keeping point. You know Psalms 121. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. So he keep you during that period when you need to be kept. And some of us, the truth be told, didn't want to be kept. Because what Satan was feeding us was so good. Felt good. Didn't tell us that there was a penalty at the end of it. Stand to your feet in the name of Jesus. Listen, it's time to fight fire with fire. We need to know that God has given us the equipment that we need for the battle. We are fit for the battle. Amen. Hallelujah. Bible says, grow not weary and well doing. You reap your reward in due season if you faint not. The devil wants you to faint. But every time you think about fainting, every time you think about sin, every time you think about falling off the track, think about the promises of Jesus. And he listen, you know what God does? He loves you even more when you draw close to him in your time of need. He said, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus.